So, Björn, welcome here in Lillehammer. First competition in Norway this winter. How does it feel here? Uh, first of all, it should be me welcoming you to Lillehammer. Uh, but, uh, I'm really excited. Uh, we had a really good weekend with the girls uh, here last weekend and uh, I'm, I'm really looking forward to see if uh, we can make a bit stronger uh, weekend also this time. We were a bit surprised that your coach didn't uh, didn't bring here, didn't uh, start with the full quota. What's the reason for it? What do you think? Now we, we try to make uh, all our athletes to be more conscious about their own process and uh, we have a COC competition the same this weekend in uh, vacation. This is also meaning that uh, there's a quota place in the COC that you can bring to the Four Hills. So we gave the option for the athletes and, uh, and especially like Björing chose then to go to vacation to try to extend the quota place for Norway and help the team out there. So. Uh, this is more a long-term decision of, uh, of being strong uh, throughout the season and uh, instead of trying to get some World Cup points here in Lillehammer. Uh, what do you think about the situation in the team right now? The, what do you think about the shape of each athlete? No, it's, uh, I'm so old uh, in this game that I know it, it, it's, it's going a bit up and down. Uh, luckily we know the potential is really good so we're not stressed but of course we're a bit a bit disappointed about uh, the start really happy about the tando of course doing a great job but uh, the rest of the team should kind of uh, follow up a bit more but uh, i think hopefully during this week and then Engel engelberg we will slowly build a, a bit stronger team to, to also head into the four hills with uh, no, Gangnes is uh, is working hard. He's uh, highly motivated, and uh, we also try to bring him on uh, a lot of trainings and camps. So you probably will see him this weekend also. Um, his process is um, towards the Olympics for sure. So the next season is uh, on his mind. Um, hopefully, he can start jumping this winter. But this is mainly for training and just to have a good start in the in the build up for the Olympics and uh, next year's season. It's been already a few years since you stopped jumping. Do you think the jumping already changed uh, quite much from then? Since then, uh, the jumping is uh, it's, it's changing a bit every year. Uh, but uh, from my perspective, you can see that the, we are now a much more um, knowledge-based uh, sport. Uh, there's much more knowledge about the flying, about the equipment, and uh, and getting facts on the table instead of. Uh, uh, believing and doing and doing choices from this so uh, like I tell the athletes uh, every time I see them that uh, you guys are really lucky to be in a team with this much knowledge and uh, and yeah, I think uh, ski jumping is, is the same but we just know more so it's gonna be even tighter on the top uh, do you see somebody in Norwegian team or other team who is the most similar to you as when you were an athlete no, there's no 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 stupid people in the team now. <laughs> that was only me. <laughs> but I mean, maybe style-wise, the way they fly. Ah, uh, uh, when I was jumping, uh, we didn't know that much about flying. So the way I f uh, flew was more on my feelings. Uh, now we have Namo doing a the technology project about aerodynamics. So. Or each athlete can talk to the rocket scientists and really see that okay should I have my arms like this or this for me it was more okay I should have the arms closed because then I get good style points but I could have jumped much longer so uh, now uh, now they are not uh, not choosing the style from feelings they're choosing it from what is really working uh, we also have a team with everybody jumping over 240 meters so I think it helps but uh, style wise yeah, I don't know uh, yeah, I don't have a good answer for that. <laughs> so, last question: Do you ever think about jumping again, at least as a, you know, secretly, just for fun? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I actually did a comeback this summer. I, I did some jumps. I told myself when I quit that this is my last jump. Put my skis outside the changing room in Planitz and left them there. Um, but uh, I had to do some jumps, so I was uh, opening up the K7.5 meter hill. Did a huge, nice jump, big telemark on 1.5 meters. Uh, so uh, this was uh, this was the jumping for me. But uh, now it's it's. Um, 
I know how much hard training you have to put down to really have fun in the hill and I'm not there for only the excitement. I'd rather go jump out of a plane or climb a stupid wall or something to get that thrill. Just uh, at the end, can you tell us something about this raw air? What, what what is so special about it? What can you say about? To, so some, can you issue some kind of invitation to all the supporters? Uh, first of all, it's been an extremely fun project to be part of. Um, how to build something new for the sport? Uh, to build that excitement moment at the end of the season and not trying to copy the four hills that we are going to in uh, Germany and Austria. So uh, to, if you look at the sport, it's quite, it's it's an extreme sport. Uh, we're probably not recognized as an extreme sport and you have like snowboard and stuff like this, but who snow, what snowboard goes down a ramp like this and jumps uh, 250 meters? I, I would say the ski jumping is more extreme, but it's a more traditional sport. So. Uh, now, uh, looking at the sport, looking at where we're going to have it in Norway, we have probably all, all four seasons during this uh, small tournament we're having. So uh, it's quite, quite raw. So uh, it's, it's, we wanted to make you know, the most extreme, most tough to really show that if you're gonna win this, you have to conquer four different hills. You have to conquer the ski, jump, uh, the ski flying hill. You also have to be part of a strong team because there's two team competitions and um, and uh, yeah, I, I think it's I would be really excited if I was the athlete to jump 10 days straight 16 jump counts into the total score it's gonna be it's gonna be fun to see how the athletes react so I can also make an invitation for uh, Polish if you want to so, um, this March we're trying to do something new in Norway and I really hope that you will enjoy our tournament, the Raw Air Tournament.